When it comes to choosing your entertainment, it can be confusing because there are just so many choices. So we have invited three art smart writers to tell us where to spend our time and our money in 2017. And joining us is Ms. Brangen Davis, Rice writer and essayist. We have Florangela Davila, arts contributor to Seattle Magazine and Crosscut, and Jonathan Zwickle, senior editor of City Arts Magazine. Okay, you guys, you've been working hard, thinking hard. The assignment was two to three things that we have to see in the early months of 2017. And I believe you pulled the short straw. You're starting. All right. OK, go. Uh, well, you know, the big news in the music world is this upstream music festival. Which is uh, Vulcan. Which is Vulcan, mm -hmm. uh, Paul Allen's company and his baby. Um, huge music festival coming to Pioneer Square, 25 different venues across Pioneer Square, 200 some bands, mostly local, uh, May 11th through 13th. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's also a big summit or conference component to this thing, which I know that they are pumping up. And uh, I've got uh, a line on some of the keynotes that they're ready to announce pretty soon. And they're, it's a big, big nice. deal. That's exciting. Yeah, okay. it's a big deal. Number two. Number two uh, is the Jacob Lawrence Migration Series Beautiful. that's coming to SAM. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's January 23rd it opens at yep. SAM. Yep. Uh, and you know this is a series of 60 paintings that Jacob Lawrence did uh, in the early 40s mm -hmm. that describe uh, the migration of African Americans out of the South mm -hmm. and into the Northeast and Chicago, um, which uh, I think his family followed that trajectory. Right. And, uh, Lawrence actually has deep history here in Seattle. You know, he moved sure. out here in the early 70s, was an instructor at UW, uh, and lived out his last days here. But the whole migration series, all 60 panels, hasn't been to Seattle, I think, in 20-some years. Wow, so it's a, it's a big deal for it's us. It's a big deal. It's a rare thing to get all of them together in one place. Right, right. Okay, really, really fast, those two concerts in February. Oh, yeah. So you got a band called Chicano Batman. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I love is, that. Uh, their album is already a front runner for best yeah. album of the year, yeah. in my opinion. They're sort of. Uh, psychedelic soul in Espanol band. The other one is? The other is a band called Mariachi Flor de Toloache. Uh -huh. And uh, nice. they are an all-female mariachi group from New York. Those ladies perform on the Chicano Batman album as a backup band, basically. Oh, great. Backup There's singers. There's a connection there. And they're coming yeah. February 23rd and 25th. Yeah, the Crocodile with uh, Chicano Batman and then Nectar with uh, Tolo right. Excellent. Okay. I believe we're going to you, Ms. Brangen okay. Davis. Okay. What do you got? Okay. My first pick is at the Moore Theater, and it's from the National Theater of Scotland. Oh. And it's a play called Let the Right One In, mm -hmm. which may sound familiar from the uh, Swedish movie that it's based on, which I loved the Swedish movie. It's a romantic horror vampire movie, but it's not like Perfect. Twilight at all. It's not a Twilight thing. Yeah. Um, it's very spooky and atmospheric. And that's, that's the company that brought that piece to the Paramount. What was it called? Exactly. Then? Black Watch. Which was incredible. Yeah. So Crazy I, cool. You know, yeah. I loved the movie, but yeah. I also really loved the Theater of Scotland's Black Watch. Yeah. And I, it's supposedly they have similar elements in terms of this really sparse staging mm. and sort of surprising choreography. Choreography just appears, but right. it really works. And just really um, gripping storytelling. So I'm really excited for that. That sounds come. good. And that's February 2 through 12. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing is the new installation of local uh, installation artist John Grade's oh. uh, piece, um, Middle Fork. Which started at Mad Art in, yeah. in South Lake Union, right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the one where he went out to the Cascades and cast this um, cedar, I think it was, 100 mm -hmm. foot tree, yep. brought the cast back, and then he and his volunteers recreated it with these uh, gazillion little, little like pieces of wood. Jenga pieces. Yeah. yeah. And he only had small spaces before, mm -hmm. and now in the SAM lobby, he, he'll have it. And the is it going to be feet. hanging? Is that Yeah, my yeah. understanding is it'll be in yeah. repose. Um, <laughs> well, so it's wonderful that it's coming back. It's yeah. Eventually, it's going to go back to Middle Fork and I think just decay away or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's back his, his the, whole the environmental. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mission is that the works go back to the earth. So. Yeah, yeah. Return, return yeah. to dust. Yeah. All right, Laurangela, go ahead. The thing I always turn to is dance. Mm -hmm. So who I'm really looking forward to is Donald Bird and Spectrum Dance. The whole Theater. season. The whole season. Okay. Good. The whole season. Anything yeah. Donald does, I want to see. You like it. Um, I really like how he's zeroing in on relevant mm -hmm. topics. Mm -hmm. He calls the theater company sort of a theater of disruption. Mm -hmm. Please stop. He's always agitating and always trying to be relevant mm -hmm. um, with topics that we don't always associate with dance. Please, don't shoot. So he has planned out his season. He's going to look at what it is 
to be an American. He's going to look at immigration. He's going to look at violence against um, GLBTQ, mm -hmm. and he's going to look at shootings. Shootings. Okay. Of, so four. They're all world premieres, mm -hmm. and he does it with live music. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I really like is that some of the composers have these interesting backstories mm -hmm. because they are also immigrants. Mm. So he's got that kind of challenging us. There's and a layer going on there. Exactly. Yeah. So he's doing it both at the Seattle Rep and at Cornish Playhouse. Oh. Okay. Starting next week. Good. Starting this week, yeah, actually. It's, it's actually going right now. Yeah. And then through June. Yeah. We love our dance. Um, PNB, you know, it's director's choice. Yes. Peter Bull, he loves his contemporary modern dance. Mm -hmm. He blew me away last year with a piece by a choreographer named Jessica Lang. Mm -hmm. So she's back as mm -hmm. one of three choreographers, and she's doing a whole piece based on Georgia O'Keeffe. Ooh, beautiful. So Great, that and that, I know that's coming up uh, March uh, 17th to the 26th, right? Okay, so um, we're, we're basically out of time, but I'm going to say one thing. Is there anything you do not want to see more of in 2017? You don't want to see, go. What is it? Facebook. Facebook. No more Facebook. Okay, I, great. I uh, delete my done. account. Done. Yeah, Good. it happened this past weekend. Shows Bye -bye. without yeah. intermissions. You don't want shows with don't animation. Want, I, want shows I completely animation. disagree with that. Totally I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, no, I do I want, not want sometimes intermission. Sometimes the shows are too long and I want my intermission. All right, okay, you guys can argue that one out. Um, so thank you so much for your great uh, ideas and everything they're talking about is listed on our website. Um, all right, so I, I seriously, no, no intermission. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, but sometimes you need to stretch your legs. No, you don't. I want to get a drink. Sometimes oh, the chairs oh, are really